Welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're talking about risk taking in marketing. Uh, it's also pretty risky that I'm drinking this glass of wine at 8.52 on a Friday evening before I go work out. That's risky. It's also my third glass of wine, so extra risky. But we're talking about risk taking in marketing, a very, very, very important aspect of marketing really an important aspect of all media. So if you think about movies, TV, radio, any consumable content, the brands that take the biggest risks are often the ones that get the most reward. Um, especially when you think of like social media content creators, the ones that are very risky are the ones that are generally getting the biggest attention. So sometimes there's negative attention, sometimes it's controversial attention, sometimes positive attention. But if you think about comedians the ones that are the most risky in their humor are often the funniest though think about movies the ones that are the riskiest in terms of documentary topics or even scripted topics are the ones that either whiff or hit big hit bombs um music elvis presley you know was shaking his hips way too hard back in the 1950s but you know look at him today uh he is a legend um, so when you look at these different industries, risk takers are the ones that often win. However, in advertising and marketing, risks, although can pay off huge and be amazing for brands, if they are not calculated risks and well thought out, they can be detrimental. And so the brand that we're going to pick on today is Tropicana. So recently Tropicana ran an ad series that was promoting parents to take a sneak away uh, and take a mimosa break, specifically called Mimoments. Um, hashtag take a moment. And I understand completely why they did this. If this skit was in a comedy special or a sitcom or a movie, it would have hit big. It would have it would have been amazing. It would have been hilarious. But when you attach this to a brand, uh you now become this thing that you're promoting. This is an ad. This isn't entertainment. And that's where marketing companies and advertising agencies uh, can get lost sometimes. And in this case, Tropicana got lost and their agency got lost. They went straight in for the humor and the, you know, oh, we understand you. We understand the real you. Even if people and parents are going to sneak away a wine break, they don't want to know it. And... There are other people that don't want to think that they do that. And there are other people that don't want to do that. And there are people that think that's wrong. And there are lots of people that think a lot of different things. And for an advertising agency and a marketer to not remember this and to not think this through is just sort of lazy in this particular profession. So here's why this risk did not pay off. Number one, you're attaching drinking to caring for kids. Rule number one, don't do that. Um, you... You can't do that. That is that is wrong. Drinking while you are trying to care for your kids is wrong. So to promote, to sneak away from caring for your kids to get a quick sippy sip is just a no-brainer. Don't do that, right? As funny as it might be to seem like, oh, after a long day, you need a glass of wine or a mimosa, that's different. So take it in context. So the pe the way people are reading this or watching this tweet as I'm looking at right here they're basically saying, you know, take a moment for yourself, okay? They didn't specify, hey, when the kids are in bed having a nice little, you know, hot toddy or moment is okay. They're basically saying sneak away and take a moment for yourself. doesn't matter where your kids are. Like, they're not exclusively saying that. And that's the problem is, is you're leaving yourself open to criticism right there. So this risk did not pay off. It was risky probably saying what a lot of parents are doing. I'm not saying they're doing it while they're caring for the kids because that's wrong, but they're probably having a drink at night to take the edge off, to just relax, glass of wine, whatever it might be. Um, but the risk did not pay off because they didn't think through the way this would have been taken. Now, that being said, that's a bad example. Sorry to pick on you, Tropicana, but you whiffed on this one. I want to give you all out there an amazing example of a risk that did pay off. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite marketing campaigns I think ever Mark Echo back in the day I don't know I don't know the year 2000 
2005 maybe, 2001, something like that. It was before social media. So uh, Echo Unlimited was one of the biggest clothing companies, trendy counterculture clothing companies uh, back in the day, early 2000s. And they released a video that said, it was titled, <clears throat> Mark Echo Tags Air Force One. That was the title of the video. You go down, you click play on the video. I think it was released on YouTube. And here's this camera, like picture, you know, cell phone camera right now, somebody running in the middle of the night, hopping over a chain link fence, um, getting on the other side of the fence. You see this giant white plane that says United States of America on the side of it. You see this person's hand come up. They got a spray paint can and they spray paint stay free on the side of the plane. They turn around and run back. This video goes out to every major news outlet. It gets covered, you know, I don't even know, millions of impressions probably all over the world. And there's these news anchors being like, oh my gosh, founder of Echo Unlimited, Mark Echo tags Air Force One. To the point where the Secret Service actually went out, allegedly, and checked to see if Air Force One was actually tagged. This is a super low-cost campaign, cost less than a hundred thousand dollars relative to that size brain at the time that's cheap <clears throat> and it got a huge amount of attention that was a risk i don't know they he could have got arrested maybe they would have knocked on his door if they did, if it didn't come out that it was produced and said you're arrested for tagging air force one um so that was a huge risk that paid off it was edgy it was counterculture it was exactly what echo was all about so my point here comparing these two examples and for all of you out there, whether you are a farm owner trying to promote your business or a big brand, by the way, farm owners uh, have a huge opportunity to market your business locally. A lot of people want to buy from a farm right now. So be risky if you're marketing your farm, but be educated. If you, <laughs> I just thought of an awesome idea. If you uh, sell and grow eggplants, you can get really creative with the little eggplant emoji that... Uh, could be controversial, but be careful where you share it. So that might be kind of funny. Anyways, point here is that uh, get risky. Be risky, but be calculated. A rule of thumb is to create controversy about a topic, not about your brand. Thanks for watching Marketing by John. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this if you found it helpful. I'll see you back here next time. <laughs>